Get to it. The bear has not been, been seen since our last encounter. This brief respite may be our best chance to quell the Great One's terror. Make way for the saplings, Koopo! We've had plenty of pra practice cultivating our gardens, so selecting the most robust ones were a simple matter. It was the hardest work. That was the hardest work, so we can help us. So you can help us with the easy part. If you see a spot of corruption, cleanse the tape, plant the sapling in its place. Koopo! We'll do it enough times, and the Great One is sure to understand that we're doing. All we can to heal the forest, which ought to be bright in his mood. Let's see to the East Shroud. We, you should have no trouble taking care of the rest, Koopo. Your efforts are much appreciated. We will begin without further delay. We trust you will not object to my company. I dare say healing the forest is one task in which I am more qualified than most. Elder seats here. Are you well enough to leave the city? I should like to think that I have been been for some time. In any event, Isumi has finally grown tired of my objections and ceased his attempts to detain me further. <laughs> Allow me to be the one to consecrate these saplings. It would be an honor to offer words of thanks to the Force for its bounty. Please do, Kupo. A prayer from the Elder Seeds here herself will surely hasten their growth. From tiny saplings to towering trees. Such is my hope. As Jordan did did before me, I shall approach the Great One in friendship, and it might see through the veil of fear that blinds it, it and remember our covenant. Let's begin by cleansing all traces of corruption from the central shroud. In green tier, I sense that the flow of ether has become warped there. Impressive, Kupo. Not even my keynotes could spot corruption from such a distance. It is but one of my ta many talents I owe to the elementals. Well then, shall we be on our way? There's Chigos. Cicadas. Whatever. gratitude for your boundless blessings do I offer this gift. May it nourish you as you nourish us. At last the earth is cleansed. There is a settlement not far from here. You should, you should tell them of this sapling. Bid them watch over and keep it safe for, from harm. Of course, the seeds here. I shall relay your words forthwith. It will give the people hope to know that they can aid in the restoration of the Twelve's Wood. Thank you. 
Now we must go. To Silent Arbor, there is something foul, foul impedes the flow of ether. Let us hurry. Where's that? I think it's in the central shop. No, it's not. New Quarry Mill in South Rock. The injury has begun to heal, and our next destination lies to the north. Mere Hurst Mill, I believe. It is faint, as we are far from the source. Nevertheless, I am certain it is there. Come. First round. It's fortunate that the corruption here is faint. A simple prayer should suffice to cleanse the soil, after which we may plant the sapling. I sense no other disturbances in the etheric flow, which leads me to believe the Mughals have already seen to the remainder. Indeed, the Twelvewood sighs with a the contentment I have not felt in a long while. But will it serve to placate the Great One, I cannot say. Not until we visit the Guardian Tree. Excuse me, but you're the Elder Seeds here, aren't you? What brings you to the way to our village? Corruption that has upset the balance of ether, but that, was, that we have since cleansed with prayers and saplings. Thus has the Twelve Wood reclaimed a measure of peace. Well, you've been planting trees. We yeah. have. The elementals have suffered much of late, and with these offerings we endeavor to raise their spirits. Oh, this eats here. I've got to protest. What of our people's spirits? We who dread every step we must must take out doors. A terrible monster is still out there, preying upon innocent folk without rhyme or reason. And if it doesn't strike us dead where we stand, its poison will finish the job. 
I know that you are afraid, that you and yours suffer still. However, it is under the auspices of the elementals that we may call the Twelve Wood Foam, and that they too cry out for deliverance. Even the Great One quakes with fear at the blasphemy's continued existence. To ignore the plight is to invite greater tragedy for us all. Rest assured, however, that I have not forgotten the needs of the people. We bring comfort to the elementals, renew our t sacred ties, that we might enlist the aid of the Great One in combating Glipnir. And the suffocating despair it spreads. And so I pray you continue to put your faith in our guardians and in me. Would that we could, Elder Sincere, but we've been dealing with death and sickness since before Glimner's coming. They say the creeping death's nothing to fear these days, but we know better. One of ours caught it not long ago. We gave her the cure, but had plenty on hand, but for a while we thought it'd be alright. But by the time we realized we hadn't done a damn thing, it's too late to call for a conjurer. It was a sad day for us when she passed, but for none other more than her poor husband Supin. He was beside himself with grief, and who could blame him? And then came Glipnir, who could pound our woes. Supin? Can't be. Do you speak of Erasura Supin? Yes, sir. No, no, Supin was an old one, but no one may, but no one's mistaken him for a Pajal. Supin wasn't even his real name. That'd be Elenija, yeah. But his wife is fond of calling him Supu for some reason, and he caught on with the rest of us. I see. And what did Elenja ja, look like? Well, I'd say he'd been no more than 30 summers. Kept to himself, came and went with an area word at times, though after he met his beloved, he became more of a fixture, friendly even. His wife was a sickly lass, but she had spirit, and spirit's not enough to beat the creeping death. Pity we couldn't do anything for her. He has finally made a new life for himself here. Thank you for recounting Lenja's story. As sad though it was, it has helped me to better understand how much you all have suffered. I promise that you will have cause to celebrate soon. Until then, I implore you again to place your faith in the elementals and in me. Together, we shall overcome this crisis. Plot thickens! Despite what he said, I am certain that Ninja was Isura Supin. To think that he was living so close by for all those years, searching for a new purpose and finding true love. Only to be robbed of that unfulfillment too. He was still a Paja, powered by the elementals. Could he have saved her? He wouldn't have dwelt on the question night after he would have dwelt on the question night after sleep of this night. I know I would have. Mayhap in the end he came to blame the elementals for his helplessness, for her death, and in despair was confused, consumed. Ah, the animosity he would linger and do, and in vengeance would Glipnir make his final purpose. We have done all we can to show the Great One the purity of our intent. Let us hope that we will be accepted as friends. All right, to Evershade. Our supplications cannot have escaped the Great One's notice. May it be enough to receive an audience.
O Great One, may I abide ever beneath your boughs, embraced by your compassion, grace, and wisdom. Be still the fear within your heart, and know that I am your faithful servant. Passing corruption, fresh, renewed green, flesh restored, child of child, covenant honored, friend, friendship, peace. It worked. The Great One speaks through the Elder Seeds here. You are right to, to follow Joan's example. Corruption is one aspect of a greater threat. Profanity spawn, despairs often, sadness and anger, sadness, death's prayer, one and all. Poison point potent, wounds unmending, withering bark, no strength to share. After all we've done, you deny us. After all the elders Seedsy has endured, she has pledged herself to you, devoted her life to the Twelveswood. People cried out for salvation, and she answered. The elementals cried out for deliverance, and she answered. Only you can help us now. If you do not, then we are lost. She is lost. Please, I beg you. We beg you. All the people we met along the way. What? What are you doing here? You've been depending on the seed seers all our lives, blaming them whenever something goes wrong, without ever considering what we might do ourselves. Hi. But no longer. The Elder Seedseer has gone to incredible lengths for her people, and so her people have come to return the favor. If her plea alone is not convincing enough, then we will raise our voices in support. We couldn't let them make the journey without protection. That and we couldn't let them put, put us to shame. We too have come to stand with the Elder Seedseer and beseech this great one with, for aid. We all want the same thing, don't we? Peace restored to the forest. So please, share what you can, however little. Do not forsake us. Do not forsake her. Kani, Covenant's child, walks with man, with elemental, keeper of ancient faith, a broken, cannot will not break faith. Man, render up flesh. Then you agree to help us. Flesh branches take and join to oldest elders. Renew bond as one stirs. Raise up to heavens. Covenant symbol, all staff, all join, all bloom, all peace. I just imagine it's a deep masculine voice that's just reaction. Might be a deep feminine voice or, you know, something great. My, my duty weighed heavy on my heart, so heavy that at times I scarce remember to breathe. If 
For days and nights I worried that I would be found wanting. But by your faith and trust was the path forward been revealed to us. You came hither, united in purpose, and bared your hearts before the Great One. I, nay, Gordania, is forever in your debt. May I rely on you all once more. I bid you take these branches to every corner of the Twelveswood and join them to the eldest trees that you might finally win free, free of this despair. It shall be done, Elder Seedseer, we swear. Once these trees have been bound together in spirit, I shall carry out the Great One's final instruction and cast its cleansing power all across the Twelveswood. Yet, I must remind you, my friends, that Glepnia still stalks the forest. It will not remain idle. It will attempt to stop us. Go with hope in your hearts, and do not lose sight of the danger. Leg. Back in Gardania. We know there's lag because there's no audio. Or we can see everything. Unless something else killed my audio for some reason. I admit for a moment I thought it wouldn't work, but the Elder Seeds here moved not only the hearts of the people, but that of the force itself. Nope, we got lag. Still got lag. We at least got the first dialogue, set of dialogue. The final task appeared to be more complicated than the Great One made it sound, so she must scour the ancient text before the time comes and consult with the CCR Council to make sure all goes according to plan. It's just as well. We still need to wait until the others have joined the Great One's branches to the other ancient trees scattered throughout the Twelveswood. Then, of course, there is the matter of Glipnir, who will not be peacefully as we work to hasten his demise. When it's done, comes, we must be ready. Alright, so last one is level 90. Sadly, uh, I am only, like, halfway through level 89, so I can't complete it. I want to keep the complete the job stuff. Although, you know, I, I already got my Reaper set up, so we could probably let's continue. Actually, let's start work on the other thing. No, no, no. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm going to, I'm going to trust.
Okay, I have not actually done uh, the Attiloscope uh, in a while. So this will be fun to do as a tank. So, first things first. I forget to activate these. Come here. Alright. Boost my XP a little. I'm not sure if it'll be one or two of these. But we'll see. Let's see. Fortunately, I have level 90s uh, Alpha No Alize and Stenium to uh, back me up here. If I could remember how all these things work. with the lens, and I trust you can hear me. Those things are pure malcontent, the residue of lives unfulfilled. This will hurt. 
Not exactly sure who that was supposed to be because it was Tupsamati. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Minfilia, so it may have been Papalino because he was the last one. The ether is too dense. Oh, I'm losing you. This is the one where you have to figure out where to hide during certain attacks.
I love that combo. We do first strike, hyper velocity, blasting boom. Got an axe, definitely Moonbreeder. Kind-hearted knife takes form. I gotten anything so far. <laughs> Nothing for your tank. We're totten! I no longer wishes this of you, Perfectus. figure out where I need to hide.
Come on, now he's there. Go rear. You underestimate me.
I may have to do a second one of these. I don't think these bosses give enough. There's Memphilia Spirit. I can click on her, but it doesn't do anything. Make you proud. Yeah, yeah, Alfie, we know they cannot, we can, they cannot pop us. One downside to to the uh, uh, trust is that they have this inability to like dodge and damage at the same time. No, oh, I don't quite remember this one. Many faces have I worn, but this is my favorite by far. This is this folly no longer. The stage is set. I did that, uh... That was it. That was Yazelle acting as Shiva, giving us a thing to hide behind.
I haven't done this uh, dungeon enough. So as soon as I hit 90 in this, I'll complete the tank roll quest. Start another, by the t but we won't be able to finish it this round. We finish it next time. Uh, and hopefully by that time I'll just have leveled my remaining rolls to 90, and then we can just roll over them. Ah, roll over them. You want to have to do this during the stream. All right. Many faces have I worn, but this is my favorite by far. You will persist in this folly no longer.
There we go, much better. Got our ring upgrade. Alright, be right back in EP. All right, I'm back. All right, I'm going to try something. I'm not sure if it's going to work to, to push me over. That's not a dungeon. I admit, I don't know it's going to work. Uh, ooh, I need like 800k XP. This is one of those things where it's like, I don't really want to go through an entire dungeon <laughs> when I need less than a million XP in order to, to, to push over. I need about a, a million XP. Let me check them. If the lag would subside. You don't want to teleport. I know I calculate what the XP is. I could try doing like side quests and stuff, but it'd take a while. This is a long shot. This may not work at all. Why am I in Little Oran? Pixie Beast Tribe. Who am I rep reputation with them? I? Oh! See what happens here. Ooh, three hundred thousand. Yeah, this might actually work. Doing these three. It, this should be really relatively quick. This may be a total of, of just less than a million XP because it's like 300,000 per. If I saw those right, right? 303? 303? 303. Okay, cool. They, they should do it.
And for giggles, I'll also do... There will be an additional quest to this. Because right now, I'm at 1260 of 1220, I believe. And each of these quests give me uh, 60 reputation. So I'm actually 60 short from getting to the next level, which will have a little quest line. Which I'll switch jobs for, do that quest line to, to give that the XP. Because I already have it locked for these three quests. And I need all three quests to, to push me over. Because it will give me over 9,000, 900,000 XP. And that's exactly, that's more than enough I need to, to hit level 90. This is perfect. Perfect, I say. So here's a reason why to at least get a job for each of the each of the roles. So if you look at the, the the job list for battle roles, there's actually five categories. Tank, healer, melee DPS, physical range, and medical range. There are five different role quest lines. I recommend, if anything, at least leveling one of each of these. Just, just one of them. You don't have to necessarily be great at them. Find your favorite tank, find your favorite healer, find your favorite physical range, find your favorite, favorite magical range. Blue Mage does not count. Come <laughs> for magical range. It does not count. It does not exist in the case of Emma Ghost. I never unlock that. I'm not willing to. I unlock that in two of my other characters. And I no longer know why, besides the fact that it's like, ooh, unlock, must you. I have not enjoyed Blue Mage at all. At all. All right. Spin this in quickly. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna switch to. I'm just gonna go down my list here. Get on my machinist. <sighs> Emigos, I feel so sleepy. Is this the effect of Amlad's spell? To understand what that means, it's uh, you're gonna have to actually do the Pixie Beast Bird quest. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Given that they tried to plant a nightmare in me, it's a little wonder you should feel feel drowsy. Oh wait, wait. Given that they tried to plant a nightmare in you, it's a little wonder you should feel drowsy. That's the little porksy over here, by the way. If the urge is so strong, why don't you just sleep? Not in your life. If I have a nightmare, you'll come and suck on me. If you are not tormented by an unfulfilled need, you shouldn't be pl plagued by nightmares. But in the event that you are, yes, I would suck on you. I'm never going to sleep again. Never, ever. If you say so. Now then, may I suggest we in inspect Lean Meg, Lee Meg, Meg for anomalies? And while we're while we're there, perhaps we could look in on the little girl, look on the little girl and see the bow. Yeah. Leah Meg, Leah Meg. That's how it's pronounced. This is another game tape.
I had a feeling we would meet again ere long. I take it you have not had, had nightmares since. All is well with you, little one? Yes, thank you. Now that the fear of failure no longer consumes me, a pall has lifted from my heart. I feel happier than I have in a long time. That's wonderful to hear. Now tell me, did you meet Anne Ladd, the pale pixie in your dreams? Only briefly, but that was enough for me to see their torment. Theirs is a lonely soul, one that draws powerful emotions to it. And though I only caught, caught fragments in deepest depths of its heart, I glimpsed their re this realm, and I glimpsed you. Tear back. What? Me? Feeling sorry for Anlan, I befriended them, and I ended up getting caught in that nightmare. Oh, I'm sorry, but I must go. My mother is calling. Anlan must have spurned me. But I won't give up. I want to become their friend. I truly do. I feel their loneliness so very keenly, and I think it's because of all the mortal hearts I've glimpsed together with you and Ezel, Ezel here. Or Ezel. Ezel? Ezel. I don't know why, but... But when I think about Anne Ladd, my chest tightens up. Am I being strange? And if I were, would you still stand by me? Or would you run for the hills? Eccentric or no, we are with you. Here, here. We've come this far together. Here, here. We've come this far together. We're with you to the end. Thank you, Amigos. Zell? Ezel? With that settled, let's discuss our next course of action. Now, you said that the fifth gate didn't exist prior to the nightmares. Yes, we fashioned only four. Uh, someone else must have created the fifth. Someone as skilled in manipulating a dream as me. It's problematic indeed. Till now, we lifted the seals by vanquishing the nightmares in the regions beyond the gate. This time, however, we do not know where the gate leads. Hold on now. If Anne Lan is in Leah Meg, does that mean... Hmm, the likelihood is passing high. The place is Il Meg, and the fact that the gate is sealed means that its individual already exists who is in the source of the nightmares. Someone here in the Fairy Kingdom who is constantly plagued by terrible dreams can't imagine who is more likely than Anlad themselves. Himself. So we help Anlad like we help the children. Free them from the nightmare that's... <sighs> Can't fight it any more. It was only a question of when. Let's leave Tear back to rest for now and do what we can in the meantime. So, if we are to help and lad, it is essential we understand them. To that end, I suggest we learn all we can of the previous Titania. And by speaking with the Fey Folk, let's split up before this task and reconvene here afterwards. Sadly, can't can't mount in Leah Meg.
The old Titania? Of course. How could we forget? They protected us from Sin Eaters and they're, they we're forever grateful. I even remembered them before they became king. They weren't so different from the rest of us. Aye, they liked m making mischief, drinking milk, rollicking in dreams, all the usual pixie pleasures. It must have been hard for them alone inside that castle. But enough about them. Play with me. Play with me. It isn't fair that Tear Beck gets to spend all the time with you. Let's use the aetherites to get... Or, yeah, aetherites. Aetherites, aetherites, whatever you want to call them. Well, you wish to know about the previous monarch. As I recall, before their ascension, they were exceptional at wielding the power of nature. Oh, and they were seldom seen without their, their bosom friend, a pixie of pink. The tragic manner of their downfall is a source of immeasurable pain for us. Never will we forget their sacrifice. Hmm, payment for the information? No, no, that will not be necessary. If anything, we are the ones who owe you thanks for setting our monarch free. I'm going to talk to the, uh, tomorrow. Seto with the information. Ah, here we go. Lala Jewel. Huh? Curious about the previous Titania, you say? Of course, I would be glad to tell you what I know. When they became a sin, sin eater, it was, it was with great sorrow that we resolved to seal them away inside Liagia. Yeah, Tyr Beck opposed the decision to the last. I cannot claim to know the heart of a pixie, but if I were Titania, I would have liked nothing more than to be praised. You remembered. Now then, I may ask, are you not not being subjected? Are you not being subjected to mischief? For your own good, I advise against getting too intimate with the pixies. Back to Liagia. Or, uh... Lin Min. Uh... Lita Loran. A little exposition here. Fuck me. There you are, Imigos. What were you able to learn about tit Titania? Ah! I went around prying while I slept. Hm. And people complain that pixies are too pride. Tear back, you're awake. But I know that someone still remembers my friend remembers their sacrifice makes me happier than I can say it is plain the two of you are the closest of friends all the fey folk with whom I, I spoke attest to that with my obsession of dreams I have considered I was considered strange even among pixie kind no one wanted anything to do with me but they accepted me as I was without them I would have been all alone like Anne Ladd <sighs> I see now and lad, they're the pixie I used to be. Like me, all they need is for someone to accept them as they are. I see. Self-actualization. I believe my master called this need... Self-actualization. I believe my master called this need. I dare say it will provide us with a clue to unsealing the final gate. It doesn't matter whose soul and lad was born from. It doesn't matter whose ether they inherited. They're a pixie, like the rest of us. As a fellow pixie, I can't let them suffer anymore. Can't let them stay in that dark, lonely place. What's more, I can't help but feel that my friend was the one who guided them to me. They loved everyone. They did. No one should be alone. I can almost hear them say. They reached their hand out to me once, once upon a time. Now it's my turn to reach out 
reach mine out to Anne Ladd. Come, let's go to Lin Leah Meg and find Anne Lynn. We have to. I'll pound on the gate until they come out. The Kevin's, what is it? Oh, it's not the normal gate gatekeep thing. Something happened inside uh, Leah Meg. What is it? I can't say for certain, but there's power well up within. Terrible power. What? Could it be Anne Ladd? I'm going inside. If it's Anne Ladd, I'm the only one who could stop them. Now, just way to confront it. I'm going with you. If you go too, there's no guarantee you'll come out alive, but please go anyway. Go and help tear back. I get reduced to level 70. Oh, my precious Leah Meg. And that's power is running rampant. By questioning their existence, they have caused their essence to unravel. The Meg along with it. If this realm collapses, there is no telling how the minds of those whose dreams are connected to it will be affected. Yet one thing is all all but certain, and Lad and themselves will disappear. No, they're my friend, and I can't let that happen. Please, please help me help Unlad and Lad. When I was thirsty, no one gave me anything to drink. When I wanted to play, they drove me away. I just wanted a friend. I wanted someone to tell me that I did well. But everyone treats me like a plague. I shouldn't have been born. This is called depression, folks. It's not good to get help. And gosh darn it! I'm gonna help Anne Lad. But first things first, I'm gonna put my goggles down. Because, uh... Do you think all of this came from Anne Lad's heart? Come on! We have to hurry and find them! Miss, it's a nightmare that plagued one of the children. All right, time for my magic. Get ready, Amigos. Nightmare pudding. Oh, you sure? It's gloomy aura. Over there, it's an lad. I can't control my power. No, oh, wait, just a. Uh... Away from me! Stay away! Don't shoot it. It's invincible. Hello, Nightmare. I'm a ghost. I wait your command. I sense potent power. Ugh. Yeah!
No, we probably overkill. This is where we came from. I'll make sure. Look at this. Solicit siphon snout. Just leave it to me. Get out of my head! Man, wait! We will help! I have a bad feeling about this. Solicit siphon snout. Siphoning snout. Oh, this burning sensation! It's the nightmare from Ratika! That is fading fast. We don't have much time. Oh, the nightmare. Let's be quick about it. This is siphoning snout. Siphon. Oh, how it turns. Be any up news. Go quick up the slope. Help me, somebody. Hold on, and lead. We're coming. I can't take it anymore. I just want to disappear. Now, if we have anything to say about it. That was a nice slaving and stabbing. <laughs> Who's the mother of all? Blur. Good work. Zell. Ezel. Emma goes quickly. And lad, they're all right. 
We're fighting with you. It's no use. I'm no use. Yes, yes, embrace your self-doubt, your fear, your hatred. Wretched world has given you naught but torment. You will reward them in kind. Give them their deepest, darkest nightmares. I love the music of Shadowbringers! Not a good force mark. Ah! And let's stay strong. We're here with you. Huzzah! We did it! It's over! You're free now, in lad! Yay! Nightmare is fading! The nightmare is fading! We did it! Silly pixie, don't lose control like like that ever again. That nightmare of yours was no joke. My nightmare? Yes, yours, and it caused a great deal of trouble.
I'm sorry. All's well. Good to, good to apologize. But don't think that you have some something else to say to Emma Ghost. He's the one who vanquished your nightmare. I was dreaming. Dreaming that I was imprisoned alone inside a great castle. So lonely and scared. I was so terribly silent. I felt as though I was losing myself. But you came, Emigos. You came and freed me. Thank you. You did well. So, and lad, now that your nightmare is gone, you can make lots and lots of fun dreams together. But I don't know how to make fun dreams. I'm afraid I'll only make more nightmares. Look, it's true you're a little different from the rest of us. It's true you have a few things to learn. But there's no need to rush. Just do what you feel, think feels right. All will be well. Even if you do, do end up creating a nightmare, there's no need to fret. Ezel here will make short work of it. Just so. I only ask that you don't keep the dream of... Keep the dream of for yourself. <laughs> if that happens, we'll just fix up the nightmare. Add a pinch of pixie magic and make it fun again. Did you know, Inlet, like a rainbow that appears after a storm, no dream is more beautiful than the one you see after conquering a nightmare. So, I want you to fly tall, because you're one of us. Proud pixie of Ilmeg. That's right. Rain, hail, or shine. The kingdom of rainbows is your home. Here, you can always be yourself. I can be myself? My heart swells with song. I can't help but want to dance. Yes, yes, that's the way. Do as your heart bids you. Dance. Dance with me. Good heavens! It's beautiful! Ah, see ya, lad? I knew you had it in your... This is what it means to have fun. I never imagined it would feel so amazing. Come, Ebengos. 
Come and play with us. By freeing that lad from your nightmares, you and yours have reclaimed all the dreams in Dolfront. Forever young and carefree, the pixies shall rock with their guests in Leah Meg, this night and all the nights to come. Did you see all this, Emigos? This is our precious Leah Meg. It is, and if it weren't for you, it wouldn't, it wouldn't still be here. And neither would this helpful, hopeless, pic silly pixie. Am I, am I silly? Oh yes, you're the silliest, dearest of all. I must say, when I, when they behave thus, pixies are quite adorable. though. <laughs> From here on, Emigos, I'll continue watching over Leah Meg with my friends. We'll revel in Rollick and make sure that the garden is always filled with fun. And different, and different though our kinds may be, I count you among the very best friends. So please, come and visit us often and play with us. You know, why don't we turn him into a leaf man? That way he could stay with us forever. And that there is one one thing you must never do. It's lay a hand on Emigos. All right, if you say so. Right. Should you sure assure everyone outside that all is well again? Let's return to Lita Loran now. Here, Beck and the others are happy. That makes me happy. I mean, it is, like, pretty. I've told the other pixies about everything. They understand now that Anne Lad is in danger and welcome them as one of us. Simple like that with our kind. And though we have restored Lee and Meg to his full splendor, it doesn't mean our work is done. We need to ensure that the realm is always beautiful and filled with fun. And for this, we need to keep on collecting dream bubbles. I hope you'll continue to lend the dream spinners a helping hand, Emigos, for the fun and happiness of pixies and mortals alike. Let's see if we can uh, ding 90 m Gunbreaker here. Ta da! There we are. Now, the Biddy Double Down offers an attack to all enemies with a potency of 200 for the first, first enemy and 20% less for all remaining. I got an AoE cartridge spender, but it costs two. Uh, additional AoE cartridge spender, but it costs two cartridges. This weapon skill does not share out recast Kadama with any other actions. Alright. Back to... Yugodon. We will soon be able to die our ink gear.
Keeper of the Entwined Serpents is pleased to see you. Except. Impeccable timing as always, Amagos. But moments ago, the Elder Seed Sia sent word to go and fetch you. She's already on her way and will explain everything herself when she arrives. Children of the Twelves would both Mughal and Man and Lank have sallied, sallied forth branches in hand to the far reaches of the forest. Soon their task shall be completed. Through the shadow of death yet looms large, they do not, not allow despair into their hearts. They hold fast to their faith in a brighter future. We shall see their hopes rewarded and by the grace of the elementals consign these grim days to memory. We need only succeed in summoning the Irim Hedge. And you may recall that the Great One's words were muddled and esoteric. I believe it is an instruction. It was an instruction to carry out this esoteric the ceremony in order to expunge the corruption befallen the Force, and the once tainted earth may begin to mend. But you see, when the Arab Hedge last was formed, it was to protect the Twelve Sword from threats without. The Great One acted as a guardian. Embracing the woods to shield them as father would his child. On this occasion, however, we will call upon it to nourish and revitalize, as a mother nourishes her child, this is her child, to make them strong in sickness. In channeling the power of the elementals in this way, we can stem the spread of Gleipnir's poison, and the scars of its passing will finally heal. At last, that was what the Great One intended to say, I believe. The Seedseer Council agrees with my interpretation and has permi permitted me to perform the ceremony. I have in my possession a single branch, the final one to be attached to the eldest tree of the Twelveswood. For all that you have done to aid us in this, us this far, I ask that you accept this honor. Who better to set the final stone in this new foundation for everlasting peace? You who have sacrificed so much for the sake of others. If you had even a sliver of your courage, we could move mountains. Thank you, my friend. We will find the tree of which I spoke in front of the Leatherworkers Guild. Let us depart. must be the tree. Look to the boughs above and you will see a spot where the bark has been discolored by age and the elements. There you must affix the branch. You ascend the ancient truck and affix the br branch of the guardian tree to the wither bark as directed by the elder seed seed. No, quite the climber. With that, all preparations are now complete. Let us return to the Guardian Tree and with the aid of the Great One, deliver salvation to the whole of the Twelvewood. Here we go.
If it is truly the Asura, it's lingering resentment for the elementals that drives the blasphemy that will surely come. For the sake of the man he was, I must try to appeal to his reason. But should I fail, then you will have no recourse but to fight. Regardless, this day we shall bid farewell to Glipnir. Through the, through the branches of the guardian tree, the twelve wood is become as one. In summoning the Aram Hedge, every ilm of the sacred lands will be imbued with the Great One's nourishing ether. The forest will be empowered to heal itself to break free of Glipnir's despair. The ceremony is complex and delicate, and I must maintain focus. I trust you will do that. It is necessary to see that I am not interrupted. Glipnir comes! Defend the Elder Seeds here! I have never done this before. Are the Elemental Soldiers... So deserving of your scorn. Do you hate me too for my horns? I knew a boy once, a boy who called them gifts, symbols of the blessings he resolved to share with the world. Yet the beast before me now brings naught but misery and death, marks his victims with chains to bind and condemn, to share in its suffering. I was not there for you then, but I am here for you now, to unmake what you have become. I shall begin the ceremony. Stand fast and remember what we fight for.
race of the elementals! Oh shit! This is not cool. Through sacred soil and azure skies, may your compassion flow and swell to banish the darkness. Blessing, covenant preserved, now and always. Child of child, honor and gratitude are unending. For we as well, honor and gratitude unending. We could not have overcome the blasphemy without your aid. In our everlasting your everlasting grace, I pray you continue to guide we children of the forest. In your boundless mercy, I pray you forgive the lost and forsaken who succumb to despair.
to you, my dear Yasura. I promise I shall never forget your words of wisdom. Ours is indeed a gift and a blessing, and a duty to our people I will uphold. Until my final breath, this I swear. Thank you, Amagos. The great cleansing could not have succeeded without you. The blight has been purged and the blasphemous beast which bore it lay low. The sacred wood that once held its breath is in fear now breathes a long sigh of relief. I must return to Gridania in my regular duties as elder seeds here, but I should be glad if you could call upon me then. There, that is, if I may impose upon you one final time. Thank you. I promise not to detain you at length. Let us meet at the Lotus Stand. I forgot there's a teleport. Hunter's Guild. And speak to the Silent Conjurer. That everybody constantly tells me to speak to the Silent Conjurer to access the altar. I know which one to go to. The Great One's ether flows all throughout the Twelveswood, purging the last vestiges of Gleipnir's poison. The surviving wounded are no longer in danger and have begun to recover at long last. We are much cause to rejoice, in no small part because of you, my friend. On behalf of Cardania and myself, Allow me to thank you yet again for your tireless efforts to bring in Glipner to heal. You went, went above and beyond the call of duty for the sake of our people and their homeland. We are inspired to behold. You were inspiring to behold and not for the first time, I must say. Forgive me, Elder Sitsia. But with this crisis behind us, I would suggest a new course of action. Oh, and what would that be? Rest. In all our time together, I have never seen you so hard-pressed. Don't that you are weary and could benefit from a brief respite. I appreciate your concern, my friend, but I cannot, will not. One day, perhaps, but not this day. But Elder Seeds here. These events have given me cause to reflect upon my past, upon lessons that I once thought that I had taken to heart. When I did not yet understand the duty in which I had been entrusted, when those horns of mine were but chains binding me to a destiny I did not choose. Twas Easura who taught me to appreciate the gift I had been given. Had he not been there to help me keep to the proper path, uh, where would my errant feet have taken me instead? We, he was perhaps the first, but he would not be the last. My brother and sister and countless other kind souls, through their words and their support, have helped me to continue to find a way forward, and even when I thought there was none. Tis by opening our hearts to one another that we 
in turn open new paths and we will conceive of greater opportunities and brighter futures. All who live within Gordania are deserving of these gifts, and so I must always be there for them, that together we may journey in safety through darkest night. Mm. Not tempted to live li live wild and free like an adventurer. It is not without its appeal. I recall fondly the few occasions I have traveled beyond. Our time together in the journey mist of the lasting impression. If ever there came a time that I need no longer serve as elder seats here. I should like very much to accompany you on another adventure. Regardless of what the future has in store, my present course is clear. So long as we Pagile serve as a bridge between man and elemental, Gridania can weather any storm. And so I will continue to walk hand in hand with my people and my patrons along a path that we discover together. Well, the blasphemy is no more, there is still administrative matters to resolve. Not too much to ask. Would you bring word to those recent events to our delegate in Ratzatan? It has been an honor and a pleasure, my friend. May the elementals watch over and keep you. Back to Ratzatan. And, of course, we get lag. The police hole. Only because it's busy, because this is where the, uh, tombstone vendors are. Well, I progressed. I at least was able to keep, <laughs> click on the <laughs> Ethernet access. calculate the XP I need for or the XP of the roll quest try to at least get within the range of the so that I can do them a ding 90 on the last one or earlier or my other ones that way I'm not wasting XP I mean, we're making progress. <laughs> we, we have the Ethernet route. There you are. Yeah, click again, to teleport. Hopefully, because I'm... I know it's just down the hall, but hopefully I'm now in a better position here. Welcome back! I pray you brought good ti glad tidings. Yep, took care of Glipnir. Glipnir is slain! brought joy to me in an otherwise uneventful day. Of course, I have complete faith in your success, and I had begun to worry ever so slightly that you did not return as quickly as I anticipated. Yeah, it was more complicated than we thought. 
shall report your success to the envoys at once. If you have further need for need of you, I pray you will answer our call. Now I can... Then my job gear. The problem with some pants is that the boots are so long that you can never see them died. Here we are. That looks good. All right, uh, we are actually pretty close to the regular uh, cutoff time, so I'm actually just going to end it here, and we'll, hopefully we'll be able to pick. Oh, I should probably let my weapon do. There we go. Now we got matching weapon. Yeah. We'll call this here. This is a good stopping point. Pick up, and we'll. Get our machinist on. Get this died. Alright, catch you next time.